Let's see. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put the gallery view. Do you want what do you want to do? Like I think not gallery view, but like speaker view. It, yeah, it doesn't matter to me. It's, it's on. Yeah. So um, you, your brothers were making like all this loot on like the resale, and now it's gone. Yeah, not just my brothers. Me too. I mean, um, we were making like a ton, and then uh, just you know, even off shoes, like uh, you know, off whites, obviously. Uh, you know, one shoe that is doing well though, it's like uh, Travis Scott. Like that guy, like his shoes are, they're so dope, dude. I, I really like them. Like I, I had the reverse swoosh, reverse swoosh, uh, the AJ ones. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then um, I, I gave it to my brother though. Cause he got into med school. So that was like, okay. pretty cool. but, um, but dude, those, I think are like one of the nicest shoes out there. Yo, did you get the, um, during all-star weekend, did you cop any of the, like the 85, uh, Jordan ones? No, I was trying to get the Joe fresh, good new balances. That's what I wanted. What's that? Here, let me look it up. Yeah, look it up. It's the um, you, if you heard of Joe Fresh Goods, he's like this local Chicago like designer. No. So he's got a um, I mean, what is it? What is it, what is this like? Fat Tiger Workshop. Um, there's these other like he used to be with Leaders. So he's like an original Chicago kind of guy. So he he had this shoe um that was only sold in Chicago. The new balance, a New Balance. Okay. And I think it was. Is it the Don't Be Mad the nine nine two? Maybe either it's like a red, I don't forget what it's called, but it's it's like yeah, a yeah. color way. like polka dots, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think that was I think I'm waiting for those to drop. I was I was waiting for those to come down on resale. I might cop them on resale. Oh, okay. Like where it, did they where did they drop though? Like I never heard of these. No, they're like it was at a pop-up shop. Oh so, so he okay. didn't even he didn't even announce where it was gonna drop until like the day before, like the night before or something. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, they, these are don't be mads. Like the he DBM. dropped on Friday. Yeah, he dropped them on a Friday at noon, and so oh. people, as soon as he like announced where like the drop was gonna be Thursday night, he let they ended up um, people started camping out. Oh, okay, okay. Well, dude, these are actually nice. Like I don't um, I have a, I have a pair of New Balances, the nine nine sevens or the nine nine eight. I don't know which. Yeah. Uh, but dude, they're the most comfortable shoes like I had in my thing. You know what shoes like underrated in terms of comfort? Like um, the Air Force Ones, man. Which one? The Air Force? Oh yeah. Just any Air Force Ones. Like I feel like they're really underrated. Like for like comfort, you know. I never wore Jordans. Like um, I just I I'm not a Jordan guy. Like I yeah. I, just, I, I I like some of the shoes. I like the way they look. I'd, I'm one of those, like, if I got Jordans, I'd probably just keep it and, like, you know, keep it in the box and, like, you know, whatever. So it's, it's a total waste. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, uh, but, yeah, like, uh, oh, the, the Sakai's came up. It's funny. Um, dude, I, my brother wants so many of these Sakai's. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them, though. But, um, but yeah, but so so what are these selling for right now? The the the, the Joe Freshgood joints? Let, let me check on StockX real quick. You know what they look like? I remember you showed me, um, you have your new balances or the, is it your ASICs, the Valentine's Day package? Yeah. They look similar to that. Are those ASICs or is it new balance? The, those are ASICs. I, I remember um, when those sold out, those like sold out. But then um, the problem is, I think what happened was that they, so they were, I saw them for, go for resale for like 200 or like over two, like 250. Mm -hmm. and then I found them in like this random boutique in the hood, like on 87th uh, and a Dan Ryan. Okay. So, um, so, you know, have you eaten Harold's chicken? Yeah, yeah, I know where it is. I, dude, my girls, right. my grandparents live like right there. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so there's a DTLR store right there. And I ended up, uh, where is these? The, Joe Fresh Goods. I'm like, I just searched under New Balance. I should put under Joe Fresh Goods. Yeah, no emotions or emotions. Dang, the last sale six ninety two. Wow, that's a lot, dude. I mean, I was they saying like, cause I was figuring with the recession, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, people are gonna like the sneaker market, like stuff was gonna re like, dang, dude, like my size and uh, so they don't even have my size right now. Um, they have a, the, like I wear a size ten and a half. Size mm -hmm. 11 is going for 900. Oh, wow. That's, that's <laughs> I was crazy. hoping to like, I was thinking that, so they actually spiked up, dude. It's, oh yeah. Cause like. Dude, I wonder how this recession is going to like, uh, like affect like the, the whole sneaker market and everything too. Cause you know, with this Corona, it's a little different though. Cause like not even, none of these shops are open. 
Um, I noticed like releases have kind of been like, like just like here and there, you know what I mean? Like today, like the fear of gods, the, the all blacks, uh, they dropped today. Right. Um, I don't know if you saw those. Um, dude, I think the fear of gods, like the, the first ones he dropped, I think the, those are like the nicest looking, but, um, mm. but yeah, but I don't know. It's like, I don't hear too much about like these hype things. And I know Nike, their stock kind of dropped. I mean, everyone's stock kind of dropped. And so like, I think yeah. they're hurting a little, but I, I, I wonder like, I wonder like, you know, how, how, how long this is going to go. You know what I mean? Yo, yo, people, people that want kicks, man, they, it's like, um, they'll get them at all costs. You're right, like, right. Like they broke, they'll, yeah. they'll just take credit out, bro. It's, it's gotta all, look fresh, like, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like, yeah. like, 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 so, so I don't know if I told you, did, did I tell you about how this channel is like, I'm changing the theme of it? Mm. Cause you know, when I first started, I, I, I forgot what I ever told, like, I actually had no idea when I first started the channel, like in September, I had no idea what I was doing. Like, I'm like, okay. what am I talking? Cause I was like, I want to, I want, I just don't, I just don't want to do like another Muslim podcast. Right. Right. I, I want to get like more than mom but I was like, whatever I'm interested in, I'll talk to somebody about. Yeah. But, you know, but I, I was talking to, um, I don't know if you know, Mike, I don't know if you know, Mike Swice. I've heard that name a million times. I used to go to Tatleef back in the day and I yeah. always, always heard that name. Mike he, used to, he used to work with uh, Tatleef and stuff. So he's someone I, I bounce a lot of stuff off of. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, one thing I, so about two months ago I was driving, I was listening to this podcast and I was like, man, Cause I was, it was just bothering me that like, when people ask me, what's the sneakers about? What's different than Mad Mamluks? And I was like, oh, uh, it's just not a Muslim podcast. And I was like, that's just a terrible way to brand yourself to just say, oh, I'm not this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it doesn't give you, it's like, it doesn't tell people what, what your direction is. Right. And so I was talking to some guys, they're like, well, maybe the, the podcast is just you yourself, your own brand. And I'm like, yo, I'm a nobody, dude. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, <laughs> Like we, we we like I mean shoot we only got like we, we've been stuck on forty thousand followers on Facebook for Mad Mum Looks for like four, four years. <laughs> Wait, forty thousand? That's a lot. We it capped. What happened was the algorithm screwed us, right? Uh-huh. And the thing is, Sim never like um went hard on Instagram because you you <laughs> know how like back when we started, Facebook was like the platform, and Instagram was pretty hot then too. But Sim looked at Instagram like, oh, it's only for short term memory people. And yeah. I, I want to engage people who are like more deep in thought. And so we yeah. go off Instagram, but Instagram is where we should have like really went hard. Right. Mm-hmm. On top of Facebook. Now, granted at the time, he's always getting on our case. Like you guys have all these ideas, but you guys don't like help out with nothing. And I'm like, right. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. we would just show up and like talk mess on the show. Um, that was it, right? Just kind of do your job and just kind of dip, right? Just right. Sort of, you know, set it, forget it kind of deal. I know, dude. I, I remember Sim would always be like, uh, he always tweaks because he used to edit. I don't know if he still does that himself or if you guys have someone else doing it, but I remember he'd always be tweaking. He's just like, guys, yeah, I got to edit this. And he would get upset whenever we do like ums. You're, I, I remember this. I was like, I was like, I was like, just leave it. I was like, just leave it. Just kind of raw, like as it is. But um, yeah, I know. I know. That's like his passion. That's like his, his baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so like, I don't know. If, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, dude, I listen to it. I listen to the, um, I'll be honest. I listen to the round tables. Like I could care less about the other ones, like where you guys interview like other guests and stuff. Like, dude, those are so boring to me, dude. They're so <laughs> I'm like, but, the, but the crap. round table is like to me it's like you guys you know us you can just kick it with us like i don't yeah. understand why the round table no no, no but like dude that. dude even the topics even the stuff you guys talk about it's like it's really fascinating it's like very interesting like um like the other one um i just finished listening to um i don't know if you remember this but you guys were trying to uh, uh youtube live it and it kept cutting off and then like um, i remember the comments too a lot of people were like hey we can't see this we can't see this and so like um, i was texting you guys in the group too and then, um, so, so I think what you guys did is just take, took it down. And then, um, I just finished listening to it like two days ago and uh, that podcast was solid, man. It was really good. Cause you know what it is? Like, I think one thing it's like, the, you know, all four of you guys, five of you guys, um, uh, you know, however many you have, it's like, everyone comes with like different ideas and you guys bounce it off each other. You know what I mean? Cause I noticed one thing is like, when you guys have guests, it's like, you kind of have to, it's like you, you cater to the message of the guests. If, if, you know, right, you know right. what I mean? It's just like someone, someone's just like, uh, who's the guy you guys had? And all he did was just like rip on like the shit out of his boot. Um, oh. <laughs> who was that guy? Dude, that, that was like Mort's boy. Yeah, that, that, dude, it was, it was Sheikh hilarious. Hassan, uh, Shimrani. Yeah, it was, dude, it was hilarious. It was, it was really funny to me. I mean, he was just like, but, <laughs> but dude, I, there's no substance. So like, I got nothing out of it, right? It's just kind of like, like if I was someone who's like genuinely interested in like the actual topic. Right. It was basically just like this. It's just like you, you guys would ask you questions. You could tell, you, you, from your point of view, it would have been like, this guy's obviously biased. He's not. He's, dude, it's not, dude, it was so obvious. Like it, it wasn't <laughs> even a thing. And then, and then I think his, his only thing was just like his kind of, 
has claimed to be able to like talk be, about the topic. Be an ex-shia like, kind of thing. Yeah, ex-shia, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's like it's like me being black and like being like I'm the only one that could talk about slavery. It's like it's, it, I don't know. It's like kind of stupid to me. You know what I mean? Um, and that one I didn't like. It was entertaining though. I did listen to it. I mean, like, dude, every <laughs> single time they, they brought up Shia, he's just like you're just going <laughs> <don't win> by <laughs> but it, was know, so right? funny. it was so funny, dude. I I, I listened to it. I, I, like I kept listening to it. I was just like, dude. I was like, this is going to be like an hour of my life that's gone, like just wasted, like in the shredder. But I was like, it was so entertaining though. I listened to it. But um, but yeah, but um, like that one was kind of fascinating. But you guys have like, I have a bunch of uh, like that one on my phone. Like with, whenever there's a guest, I dude, I just like skip it. Like I'll listen to like maybe <laughs> five minutes of it. And then like, I'll just dip. Like, dude, because the ones you guys talk about with just you, like I think just between you guys too, there's so much like, um, there's so much to talk about. I feel like there's so much knowledge too. And then and then, like, you, you know, even with Amir, like, I know he doesn't really take over the show and stuff. And then, like, there's so much, like, I don't know, like, there's so much knowledge just with, like, Amr alone. And then to, you kind of have to, like, squeeze it out of him. And then, um, and then you know, Sim is, like, this intellectual. And then, dude, you know what's funny is, like, whenever Sim tries to talk in Arabic, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I know he does it as a joke, but, man, poor guy. He's been, like, trying to do Arabic for, like, the last 10 years. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't made any progress. Like I think it gets worse. Like, every single episode, it gets worse. You know, like, God. But uh, but no, it's funny though. But but yeah. So so you're talking about, like how is how is yours different? Like what were you? Yeah. Trying to- so 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 basically, in the beginning, I was just like I I didn't want to like I mean part of it the whole you know as, as we, I don't want to like, keep rehashing this, but it seems like um Sim wanted me to kind of run my own podcast, right? Oh, he wanted he did. me okay. to get the feel for like how the whole operation works. Just because mm-hmm. as also as a contingency plan, let's say he got run over by a truck or something, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like let's say this, it would be like this. Amr's moving to another apartment. He's got a U-Haul. Amr backs right over Sim and runs him over. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't even realize it. <laughs> That's how Sim would go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, so, he, so- he, just, he just hits reverse like, whoops. <laughs> 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 Armor Arm is clueless. Like, yeah, that, that is totally possible too. Man. Um, like, Arm is just, he's gone, dude. The dude, it's funny. You guys were ripping on him, like when he when he came back from Egypt, and then he was right. like, dude, it's funny. He like he dresses the same. He's just like there's like like you know he wears like the baggy stuff, which is cool. I mean that's who he is. But it's, like you know now it's like the slim stuff is in. But but yeah. Arm is just like the same person, dude. It's funny. It's so funny, dude. Sometimes I like, talk to a kid. I'm like, I'm like, God, it's like they show him a ton of phones. He's like, this technology. It's just, like, look what he can do. And I was like, what? Yeah. So so anyway, so, so you know, I, that's why he started. But I, I didn't know what the direction was. So a couple of months ago, I'm driving and I'm like, because you know this whole thing about like how I got interested in Christianity, right? Yeah, yeah. When you were going to the question I was, I was always asked them was like, listen, I understand what you guys mean by the Trinity, right? Like, yeah. At. like I, I can I, I like I understand this concept that you guys have I just don't understand why you believe it right right that you that know. was my thing I was like and so I was like thinking about it I was like man why do people believe anything like everything mm-hmm. like if somebody asked me why do you believe in Islam mm-hmm. and I'm like for starters to be perfectly frank I was born into it right yeah right that's the number yeah. one thing that's the only and I never found and when I and, and then like what about other religions I was like when I got religious I defaulted to Islam because there was no other because I, I had a very like superficial understanding of other religions. Like right. I didn't know any, I knew some Hindu cats, I knew some Buddhist cats, but they weren't really like, I grew up with them, but they weren't really practicing. Right, you know, right. They, they didn't really, they weren't like representing like, oh yeah, Buddhism is the way to go or what Hinduism is the way to go. Right, <clears throat> right, right. You know, it's, it's kind of funny too. It's just like, I feel like, you know, besides like the uh, Jehovah Witnesses, like, um, like, Besides, I don't know, besides, besides like Jehovah Witness and Muslims, it's like, I wonder if other religions, if they kind of see like their, and you know, besides missionaries, obviously, but if they see like their goal is to like convert everyone, you know what I mean? Right. I feel like that's always like in the back of like, like every Muslim I meet is just like, it's like, oh, Dawah, this, Dawah, that. I'm like, mm-hmm. God, dude, it's like, oh man, dude, I get so annoyed when I hear that. But, <laughs> you, you know, like, I, 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 you know, like, I understand that, but I, I feel like there's so many like more, there's so much more that's like kind of important, you know what I mean? And that they always like kind of, harp on this like dawa 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 and then and the person converts and then it's just like okay cool now what you know you just kind of let their hand go and then and then i don't know like um i i, I read before that the um that the amount of people that generally convert to uh, islam and stuff they either um they end up like either not practicing or they just kind of go back to their thing you know what i mean and then uh, it's yeah. kind of unfortunate it kind of sucks but um but yeah but um so 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 wait so why'd you besides like besides yeah. the thing so after but, but, you learned, but so that, that's what i was thinking about i was like so so i was like what i'm interested in is like why do people believe what they believe right because mm-hmm. you know me i like when we're similar in the sense that like you know a, a, a lot of cats can't handle like for example someone voted for 
like someone votes for Trump, most a lot of people we know would be like, oh man, we can't talk, we can't be friends no more. And right. I'm like, why? I mean, right. I'm like, to me, I, I, I think people could have legitimate reasons for have voted for Trump in 2016, yeah, of course. right? Yeah. I mean, even again, even in light of everything, like if somebody were like, yo, I'm voting for him, you know, because of this one, I'm like, all right. I mean, but I, I want, but sometimes there's deeper issues. Some people like, if it, like, if you look for hardcore Trump, like MAGA folks, like, what are they really concerned about? Like, they obviously yeah. have concerns. Like, and I, I, I think I'm just interested in hearing, like, what their world, how their worldview developed, right? Right. And that's what I'm about. I'd like, so this channel is more about, like, understanding people's belief systems, worldviews. Gotcha. Like, gotcha. Worldview isn't just religion, it can be anything. It could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. Politics. It could be anything, dude. Yeah. It could be politics. Um, you, you know, one thing is like, I, I feel like with me, um, you know, besides like you guys, like I don't, uh, I, I don't really talk to too many Muslims. Like it, it's, it's actually kind of like, um, this wasn't done intentionally. Like you, just, you know, my situation, like my wife's not Muslim and everything too. And then, right, so, right. Um, but you know, like I do my thing, like I still pray and all that good stuff, but, um, but I don't know, to me, it's just like, it's kind of, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm way, like way more open-minded, like way more open-minded, like, like it, it's kind of, it's kind of funny. And then, and then sometimes like whenever I go back to Lombard and like, you know, every now and then when I meet up with old friends, I'm like, like, dude, you guys are like still the same, which isn't a bad thing. You know what I mean? But it's just kind of like, like there's no, I feel like with some people, like there's no room for discussion. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, for example, like, you know, if you take the Trump thing, it's just like, okay, cool. It's like all these people voted for him or these people are, are going to vote for him again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but it's just kind of like, why you know what i mean and then i feel like a lot of people just kind of brush them off oh because they're they're hillbillies or because they're this you know they're that you know what i mean and then like it's kind of silly to me like dude for example like if you if you were to tell me like imagine you go to like virginia and you're talking to all these like coal miners and stuff and then they're talking about like like they're gonna vote for trump i mean it's like i i think they're very smart i think they're very smart to do that because he has their interests in, in mind you know what i mean and so like it kind of like I think it'd be silly of them to vote for anyone else. You know what I mean? Because right, like right. everyone else is like going green and everything. And then it's like, it's their livelihood. It's like, what do these people know? Like yeah. these people, like, this is what they do. This is what they know and everything. Even if it's like a dying field and everything, it's like, you got to, you know, at the end of the day, you got to put food on the table for you and your family. So, so I don't know, like, I'm, I'm dude, I'm totally open to that. Like totally open to like, um, like yeah. conversation. And, and, and I think that's what like, because people always say that everything's an echo. I mean, the echo chamber argument is, I, I get tired of that, but mm -hmm. like, I mean, listen, I'll be honest. I'll talk to anybody. Yeah, like, I know. Anybody, I know, I know. Like, anybody that's willing to come on this show. And, and, I, and I'll listen to I'll, I'm not going to try to debate them. Like, like, so, for example, if somebody comes on the show that I completely disagree with, like, I'll let them, like, I'll hear them out. And I'll be like, and I, and I, I always try to, like, when I meet, it's like, it's like when I meet people in person, I generally don't, like, try to debate everybody. So right. I treat the podcast the same way. I'm just like, oh, let me understand where you come from. Right, like, right. There, there's this chick at work. Um, so she's she's a big into chemist you heard of chemitology that chemitology old, it's like this old african religion like no. the hotep cats i think they might no. be into it um so basically they believe that that like the that um they believe there's revelation on the in the hieroglyphics in the pyramids i think something oh, okay. like right and okay. so they believe when the bible and the quran came that these were all copied off plagiarized off ancient kemetic writings gotcha Kemetics okay. were like the original kind of they have the original everything, right? Gotcha. Uh, and so I don't know if they believe in God necessarily, but they believe that's where like originally everything came from and everything else was like, like there was this lady at work. Uh, hey, one second. Uh, can you repeat I found that again? She was in the chemitology. Can you can you yeah. repeat that again? You kind of you kind of there's a lag there. Just repeat it again, please. Sure, can sure. So this chemital, so the thing about the lady, there's lady at work or before mm -hmm. that. No, yeah, no, no. I heard that. And then uh, I heard the thing about the pyramids and everything. And then like, you yeah. said, you don't know if they believe in a God. And I, I, I don't know if they believe in a God. And then what? I only, I only found out about them because of a, um, so somebody, well, one of my coworkers, one of my guys that works for me, like he, he and I were just talking about religion. Cause he, cause he was, he came up to me one day. He's like, yo, somebody thought people think I'm in the nation. Cause he's black uh -huh. and he's got a, he, he's got a big, he's got a beard. Uh -huh. so he's like, and I'm like, or they, he, he's he's got like a huge beard, like a Sunnah beard, but okay. it's like, right? And people, right. uh, not they not nation, but they think he's actually or it's like Sunni, right? Mm -hmm. And he was like, he's Christian, but he doesn't really. He's he's like one of those, you know, like your average Christian is like, yeah. I was like, I really, he's like, yeah, but you know, they changed the Bible and all that stuff too. So like, right, right. And so then he was telling me about, oh, you know, you know, so and so believes in like chemitologists. You know, you didn't heard about. She's an atheist. 
And oh, so, okay. so, so one day uh, we were slow and I was like, hey, what's going on? Like I heard you. Uh, so I saw a tattoo. She has a forearm. It looks like a cross, but it has something else like around it. Right. Mm-hmm. And this is around, it's like two years ago, around Easter time. And I'm like, hey, um, what's up with your tattoo? Is that like a cross? And she's like, no, nah, the cross signifies death. This signifies yeah. life. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> like, oh, it's, like, wow. it, it, it's called, it, it looks like a cross, but there's like a, a, I don't know, it's hard to describe it, like something around it. What is it? Here, what is it called? I'm just going to look it up. How do you spell it? The, the religion? The chemet- the chemetology? K E M E T O. Oh, K E. K E. I spell it like chemistry. K E. Chemetology, yeah. Yeah, chemetology, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the, what the logo is, but it's basically like Egypt. Like, I, you're talking about, are you talking about like the cross where it's just kind of like there's like a circle almost at the top? Yes, um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen that. You know, you know what they say? It's just like, you know, people, like, you know, all those like, I don't know, people, whatever, they'll be like, oh, when you wear a tie, this is really what it represents and stuff. And then, Oh, like, that right, like that right. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's too much glare. I can't see it, but I, but I see. I I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly yeah. what you mean. It's like the uh, that that round thing, and that's like a cross with the thing. So so she said it, it symbolizes that symbolizes life. No, yeah, symbolizes life. Like I asked her, is it a cross? Because because uh-huh. I first saw it, it looks like it's a, it's some kind of derivation of a cross. Right. Like the Christian cross. It's yeah. A little addition to it, right? Yeah. So she was like, nah. It still signifies death. It's like she just went in right away. Oh, interesting. And then she just started going off and then talking about how like the, you know, how the Bible, how she's pissed off that all these black folks fall Christianity because Mm -hmm. it it was used to enslave them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Right. You know, all, you know, so, but I was just hearing her out. I was just like, oh, so, so what's your, like, so like, what's your take on this stuff? And I was like, I mean, I was like, that makes sense. You know, like my approach was like, okay. Cause I don't like, I don't know nothing about it. Like I'm I'm not going to try to like all of a sudden debate you. Like I'm like, let me, and like, and then I was like, so, so how, why do you believe in this stuff? And she's like, when she grew up, she dealt with like corrupt pastors. They always took money and stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, um, you know, they, they, she felt like there were too many charlatans in the church. Right. right. And then she eventually like found out about this and was like, that's what she, and I was, and I would ask her like, does your family believe in it too? How does that work? So, so th- that's just my nature. And I was like, I'll just bring that to the podcast. Like, I'm not about like, and, and then I would ask her like, oh, can you send me some like articles or YouTube videos or something that explain your views? Because maybe right. there's obviously, I mean, you're just a layman. You work in the steel mill. Like I can only articulate it so much. Maybe there's something right. I can present. Like right, like if somebody want to learn about Islam, I was like, oh well, I could tell you about it, but also check this out. This video might be a better explanation to them. Yeah. Perhaps, right. Yeah. But 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 that's what I'm trying to do with the channel. I was like, I'll just hear it out. I'll probe a little bit. Like for her, I would be like, okay. I mean, I, and I would say stuff like, well, let's listen, Muslims. I can't speak on behalf of Christianity or Christians, but Muslims, we, we believe that every nation received the prophet, right? Mm-hmm. And it's quite, and we don't know all the prophets. We know that. Right. It's very possible. I think there's only 25 that are mentioned in the Quran, right? Right. So there's only, it's quite possible that like the writings you received in, in that you think are also reproduced in the Quran, for example, mm-hmm. are also, were a revelation to some prophet before that we don't know about. Right, right. So like, I was like, I don't see necessarily based on what you're telling me that at surface level. But, but like you, a you know what that, yeah, you know what that too. It's just like um, even even some ideas. It's like it's like for example, like Islam. Like we we believe like you, you know we believe in like the books as well, right? Like right. All, what is it four books and like there's like yeah. scrolls and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, but but we believe that the the Quran kind of supersedes the the ones prior, right? And then but dude, it's like right. some of the ideas like they're not they're not original. Like it's, it doesn't have to be original either. It's just like, kind of like, don't kill people. Like that's not an original thought. You know what I mean? That's yeah, not yeah. like, that, that's, that's like, I, you know, if, if someone were to tell me like, Hey, the Quran is the only book to have mentioned that I'd actually be surprised. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, um, right. Cause, cause you know, like dude, there's a lot, there's a lot of like overlap, right? It's like, it's kind of like, like this is, I think so. So here's my thoughts. So kind of like all religions kind of came about to, to better people, to better like the group of people. Um, right. You know, regardless of like whether it was revealed by, you know, by Allah or whatever, right? Even if, if someone wrote it, right? I think I think people's general intent is like just to kind of better people, right? And then no one, I, I mean, at least to my knowledge, no one's written a book that's kind of, you know, said the opposite. You know, this kind of says, oh, like, you know, treat your neighbors like crap or, you know, things like, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, it's just right. kind of like, it's kind of like, yeah, it totally makes sense. And then so someone were to say like, okay, cool, like the, the, the Quran just has a bunch of these copies from like 
all, all these previous ones, like I'd be like, okay, cool. Like well, that, that means absolutely nothing. You know what I mean? And then, yeah. and then, you know, like even science or like math, whatever it's like, it's all like, it's all based off like, it's like based off like all these, um, all these ideas people had before and you just kind of build on it. Right. And then it's kind of like, it continues to grow and everything. Not that I'm not saying that Islam kind of continues to grow. I think Islam is like the Quran is like in the Sunnah, we, we have what we have. Right. But I think things can be interpreted differently. I mean, uh, you know, one of the biggest ones we see is just like, um, uh, you know, the, the Zabiha, non Zabiha, like argument and everything too. And then like, I totally understand both sides too. It's like, remember that one time, so you came over to my house and then um, I think like I had, I had chicken or something. And then, um, uh, and then and I think you asked me, it's like, yo, is this Zabiha or whatever, right? And then um, I think I told you. Like, I, I, I think in advance I asked you because I was going to bring my own food. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. And that's like, I was like, let me just get my own food. Mm -hmm. um, and then like, I, I think I even asked, like, like, yeah, I asked you subtly even for your wedding. Right, right. I know you did. I know you did. You know, it's funny. It's like, even for my wedding, it's like, uh, like, uh, one of my friends actually came up to me. He was kind of like, hey, he's like, uh, he's like, you know, he's like, they, they sent me here to ask you. And he's like, is the food like halal or whatever? And, I, and basically what I told him, I was just like, I was like, yes, the food's halal. But I know these friends, are, they're kind of like the, the ones that like really check. They're like, hey, where's your source? Like, who, who cut it? You know, did he, did he say, can I interview the butcher? Whatever? Yeah, like, it's like, it's like did, he, did he say Bismillah? Like, was he was he wearing a thobe when, when he did it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, dude, like, right. like what, what I told him, like, what I told him was like, the answer was just like, yes, like, it's, it's, it's halal, whatever. That's that's what I requested. And, uh, and, and, you know, I think I said the same thing to you. I think you, you're free to eat it. You know what I mean? You're free to eat it, um, but you don't have to if you don't want. And I, I won't yeah. be offended. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. Um, and, and then, I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of people, even, even when you ask me about that chicken question, like, I think I think I had made, like, extra food, whatever. Like, not specifically for you, but I just had, like, extra, you know, whatever. Because like, yeah. I always make a lot extra. And then, like, I, if, if you came and then you asked me for food, I'd be like, oh, yeah, for sure, dude. Like, come eat with me, whatever, right? And then, and then remember, like, I, I don't think I, I didn't even call you out on it, after, uh, like, afterwards. Like, but but in the group, I just kind of asked. Like, I was like, hey. Yeah. Um, I was like, you know, th these are my thoughts, whatever. And then, and then you know, you gave your answer but but i wasn't offended though i wasn't like oh what the hell dude this guy like he's gonna come to my house he's not gonna eat my chicken <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> finger looking good you know i, but, I um, mean so i i used to not act like so here's the thing i used to like not ask right uh -huh. um but then i've like so for example a couple years ago I, I a friend of mine invited me to his place for like turkey right uh -huh. For for what turkey you said? Yeah, turkey, right? Okay, yeah. right. And so we so we went there and stuff. And he knows I eat Z only, right? Mm -hmm. Um, because because I th here's the thing. My family originally, I grew up in a non Zabiha family. Okay. Right, but then whenever my parents would invite people over, they would make sure they had Zabiha. And they didn't. They knew the people who ate Zabiha. They would tell them, "Oh, by the way, this isn't Zabiha." Oh, gotcha. And okay. They would let them know, uh, but generally they would always try to have Zabiha, and that's the protocol I've always seen is that like. Um, you always assume it's Zabiha. Even if you even if you know a person's non-Z, you assume the person's like either feeding you halal meat, like Zabiha meat. Right, right, yeah, yeah. And that's been my experience. So I basically go to like um, his place for like um, this, this turkey dinner, right? My wife and everything. And then like, and I never actually told him this, but I but I go into the kitchen and I see he, he's using like like regular like Swanson chicken broth for the turkey, okay. right? Okay. So mm -hmm. I was just like, all right. <laughs> So, so based on that, like some people were like, "Why you get hung up on chicken chicken broth?" I'm like, "Yo, it's still non-Z chicken broth, <laughs> right? right, right. So derivative, you know what I'm saying?" Like, um, so after that, I would be like, I, I kind of like play it by, so to speak. If the person's like, cause for me, it was also not that you're like, the fact that like you're um, not not that you, I knew you, you were non -Z, but I was Christian, right? So I was like, yeah, most, and I was like, let me my own food. Right, it's just easier. You follow me, because yeah. I was hungry, right? And I was like, let me just bring my own food. That way, I'll just smash whatever. And then, right. if it like it is the, I'll eat whatever you have too. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like right, I mean, right. I, like, like I'm always, I'm always looking to expand this gut, so <laughs> I can always have space. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, I'm pretty open about being non-Z too. Yeah, um, yeah, like it's it's not. But you know, one thing, one thing I I, I kind of do though. I don't know if I was doing it at that time when when you came. It was like a year ago, anyway. Um, but uh, but. Um, but for the house, though, it's like whenever I buy meat, so it's always a biha. Like that's one thing I always get because um, right. I always found like um, I, I bought like non-Z chicken before too. But um, the zabiha chicken is always juicy, dude. It's like super mm. juicy, like the crescent stuff. Yeah. Um, it's like really juicy. So like it, it's actually funny. It's like uh, like like in this house, like we we only eat like non-Z biha. But when I go out though, like I eat non-Z food. It's not it's not a big right. deal, right? 
Um, but it's funny, it's like I have uh, I have like her dad eats not it eats a biha, and then like her <laughs> grandparents like eats a biha, dude. It's so yeah. funny, it's like oh they're all eating the biha food and then like they don't even know it, you know. But but it tastes good though, right? And then and then that's the only reason. Like if it didn't, I, I think me personally, like knowing who I am, like if it wasn't if it wasn't as juicy, if it was the same as the other, like I'd probably get the non you know what I mean? Um like but I'm not I'm not too crazy about that, but um some cats are you know Chicago people are, but like I was yeah, gonna ask you, is, is is your is your wife's family pretty religious, like as far as being Christian and stuff? No, 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 they're not at all. Not at all. Um uh like uh, I went to church with uh like with my wife and her dad um a few times, like I think two or three times. Um right. but no, they're not they're not religious. So like they definitely believe, right? They definitely believe, but um if you mean by religious I like church goers and stuff, no. Um, you know one of the things like I kind of see it's like I'll I'll say this, like her dad's of her family her dad's like very religious you know what i mean and then and then by her family that's me kind of like the immediate you know she obviously has like a bunch of family that live like down south and you know everyone down south is like way more religious than like you know people up north here um but uh, her dad's definitely like I, i'd say the more religious one you know what i mean uh, okay kind of, he, he he actually makes a, an effort to go to church and everything and then one of his pastors actually moved i, I think he moved to like iowa and so he hasn't been going to you know the church as much. I think it's like kind of his thing was like um, he really liked the pastor and like um, I met the guy too. You know just you know just from like that you know five to ten minutes whatever that we actually talked to. He you know he was a, he was a genuine dude. Like he was kind of he was like a really good guy. You know what I mean? Um, that initial interaction. And so like but um but yeah I'm not too sure if he uh, if he if he goes or if he has been. But um, I know he's he they, they believe you know what I mean. But I feel like. I don't know. It's like when you say like, are when you whenever you ask a question like, are Christians religious? <laughs> it's it's kind of like I think we have different we have different um, definitions of that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like when you ask like, if a Muslim's uh, religious, it's completely different. You know what I mean? Like I feel like sometimes even like a Muslim can can pray and still be considered non non not religious. Like if that does that make sense? You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, it's like it's like a spectrum almost, right? It's like it's like, you know, does he does he to be uh, like I feel like I feel like if you to be you're like you're automatically like religious. If you don't and you pray five times a day, it's still questionable. You know what I mean? It's kind of funny. Um but no, but uh they're not I wouldn't say they're they're too religious though. I I think one of the things is like um they kind of you know churches it's it's kind of unfortunate what they've become. I think they've um like the pastors and everything you know i think there's a lot of bad uh um you know there's just a lot of a, a lot of you know all the things that happen and everything yeah. you know what i mean and so like i think people are like generally like distrustful and all that good stuff so um so i don't know i think it's really unfortunate like i you know i i like religions like uh, all all of them really um and then uh, kind of you know i had a friend um uh, a really good friend of mine actually we went to uh, school together and he was he was hindu and like dude like this guy was um, he not just Hindu like you know he was he was kind of the strict one like he never ate any kind of a uh, uh, he was straight is it vegan yeah vegan no no, no he was vegetarian uh, yeah. no kind of meat like not even eggs you know what I mean so he's right. he's very strict in that sense and uh, like um, I know some some of them like they'll eat like eggs and stuff or sometimes they'll have chicken but they won't touch beef and stuff but this guy was like very like uh, but but morally though like I dude I've never met anyone that was like more like sound than this guy you know what I mean even right. to the extent like like he wouldn't he wouldn't cheat on on any assignment or any anything like that it was like to that extent you know what I mean because I think Hindus like they have a um, they really believe in karma um, mm-hmm. and like they they have like a, they they believe that things you know try and come back to kind of to kind of kind of bite you or whatever um which is interesting because like i think in islam too it's like we kind of do have that concept that it's like but ours is a little different meaning that um like if you don't get your karma in this world you get in the next you know, yeah right, right. but um but hindus you know they kind of they believe in like reincarnation and stuff so I, I i feel like their their afterlife is the next life you know what I mean? um but yeah but go ahead i would love to interview a hindu i, I like i've actually never met a practicing hindu in my life mm-hmm. as far as i know right Mm-hmm. Like I've met Hindus that like just don't they're just vegetarians, but I'm like, but I was like, there's gotta be more to your religion than just not eating meat. Yeah, I think they you know is. what I'm saying. Yeah, um, dude, you know, you know what's funny? It's like sometimes like I watch those videos on like YouTube, uh, like where the cow is like just sitting in the middle of the road in like India and then right. it, like stops traffic. I'm like, oh my god, dude, like the cow's a sister. Cause apparently like it's it's illegal, right? I don't think you can do anything to it. Right. Right? No, I I I I guess so. Like I'd have to ask them like I I or if you get someone who's like, um, like I would like to find like a convert to Hinduism. Yeah. Cause that's always the most interesting story. Oh, that that's interesting. Cause that's because it's all like, to me, it's always interesting about like how someone, cause like, I don't think I could, I could fathom like converting to another religion. You're right. 
I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's such a like. I I think you, you now. Your story with marrying with your wife being Christian is kind of not not really conversion, but it's just like it's you had to like go outside the box a little bit, right? Oh, dude, totally, totally, dude. Like, yeah, dude, like, you like know, five I, years ago, would you have thought you would marry a Christian? Dude, even today, I, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 you know what I mean? You wake up, you're like, I, I got to fast that she's eaten. <laughs> <laughs> she she eats a beer, dude. She's she's Muslim. She doesn't know it. <laughs> is she fasting? She's not fasting. She's definitely no. She doesn't. No, no, no. She she's eating. She was eating Doritos like right in front of, in my face. Dude. She doesn't. <laughs> 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 you know, uh, uh, I think she asked me though, like a, a few days ago. I, I forget what she asked me, um, but some along the lines, she's like, you know, she's like, if I fasted with you like two days a week, she's like, would that would that help you? Whatever. I was like, I was like, dude, I was like, I'm 30, dude. Like I've been doing this for, like last 20 years. I was like, I was like, I'm not gonna be more motivated to fast because because you're sitting there starving yourself. Like I was like, no, I was like, dude, it's not a big deal for me. Um, but yeah, but um, no, dude, like no, like to answer that question, no, like if if, if someone would have told me like even two, three years ago that I would end up with like a, non, a non-Muslim, like I, I'd never believe it. You know what I mean? Um, it wasn't for me, like it wasn't even an option. It wasn't even something I, I thought of or considered. Yeah. Um, but you know, like, uh, like it just kind of happened. Um, yeah. You know, you know what it is? Like I, you know, I'd go out, like uh, I'd meet like, you know, Muslim girls and stuff like that. And then um, I was talking to a friend about this like, uh, like two weeks ago. And I always feel like with Muslim girls, like, um, like especially when, when when you're meeting them with the intent of like marriage and all that good stuff, it's kind of like, it's it. I, I feel like they're two different people. There's there's like there's who they really are and who they think they want you to be. You know what I mean? And yeah. and, and and I never, um, I I never really, I don't know. Like I, I never met someone who was like just kind of real. You know, if if that makes sense. I know it's like cliche, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Who cares? But I never met someone who's just like that is who they were. And they're very comfortable uh, with that. You know what I mean? Uh, I never met anyone like that. With my girl, I mean, she was like, she's not Muslim. She she was well aware that I was Muslim. Um, and then, you know, she she was who she was. Like, she didn't really care. She, you know, she didn't know anything about Islam or anything, too. Um, I just remember, like, when it, when it started to get, um, like, more serious, whatever, she, uh, uh, I, you know, one of the one of the conditions was, though, uh, that um, I was like, she doesn't have to convert. I was like, that's totally up to her. I'm not going to force it on her or any of that, you know what I mean? Um, you know, obviously, if she, as long as she like kind of respects uh, like my religion and like uh, you know the things that come kind of go along with it, right? Um, my thing was just like my kids have to be Muslim, and um, and and then she was like, okay, cool. She's like, I'm gonna do some research, whatever, right? And I was like, okay, cool, do, do whatever you have to do. And then she comes back like two, three weeks later, and she was just like, yeah, she's like, I did some research. She's like, she's like, y'all ain't as crazy as I thought, whatever. <laughs> and, then, and I was like, I was like, cool. And then um, and then the only other condition was like she gets to choose the baby names so she gets to name the babies whatever which is totally fine i was like i was like cool i was like you you can name them it's not a big deal um but uh but yeah that's what it was though and that she's she's totally uh, totally yeah I, I'm, I think she's she's pretty awesome like she's she's um you know besides like prayer and actually like you know saying like shahada whatever like she she like you know she, I, I guess she's muslim in like every other sense and by that i just mean like she's not a like a like a horrible person you know right yeah i think think in essence that's what it means to be like a muslim you know what i mean i i I think what happens is that like going back to your story like you you have this framework in your head of like when you're single you're like oh i want to meet this person who fits all these criteria right yeah i know but but then you meet someone who like you actually just like that person yeah yeah you just like them but then that one that box of islam isn't checked off you're like oh snaps now for us (laughs) it is like we are allowed to marry jews and christians so it's like yeah. But, st- but but now but but today it seems like there's still such a stigma if you do it i think i think so um, i'm kind of curious like i think with me like um i don't really hear much um i don't know I don't, I don't know i think it'd be interesting to see what you guys think of it like um like i've i've uh actually with you guys like i haven't i i'm obviously like you know i've met you and your wife whatever you guys like who cares because like, but, but you're a bit different though because you do have like um i remember for your uh, daughters like Akhifa, um uh, when she was born like you had uh you know, you had like the whole table of like, like basically infidels, you know what I mean? We want to get them all together because w- w- when you, when you want to like do the, uh, the, the hudud, the executions, <laughs> they're all in one spot. It just makes it real easy. Right. <laughs> you beat them up, you stuff their, you stuff them first with lamb and then like, all right, time to go. <laughs> Unless you say the 
I was, I was sitting right there with them, man. I would, I would have been gone too, man. Um, but yeah, but, um, damage. I think, yeah, but I think I think you're a little bit different. Like um, I know with uh, like majority of my other friends, like I don't I don't really think they have too many like non-Muslim friends or even interaction like that. So I don't know. I never really um, I never really cared to ask what anyone thought of it. Like you know what I mean? Like I never like I don't know. Like I, I there's some there's certain people whose like opinion I kind of respect, but I never really cared to ask. Never like hey. Uh, my wife's not Muslim. Yeah. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Like, I, I, I could care less. You know what I mean? Um, I, I think it's a little different. But, but yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? Like, do, do you, do you think that's like normal? Do you think it just? I mean, is it is? um, like on, honestly, as I've gotten older, uh, I could see myself like, I can see it two ways because, like, like you said, like if you like the person, like I have non-Muslim friends because I like who they are as people. Yeah, you get what right. I'm saying. Right. Yeah. But like they're like we disagree and sometimes we'll get into heated, these heated arguments i right. don't know if i can marry a non-muslim because i think i spent so much time trying to convert her yeah <laughs> i would just like be frustrated like um like it, it would just be like you like because here's the thing like um for me like i i, I could see it because i i could i could definitely see like I, I don't think you have to be a muslim just to be a good wife right yeah like, you know like i i i think you can have like a really solid relationship with somebody and disagree and like disagree on like you know but i think it'd be bother. I, I think it would bother me all the time too really think about my wife like we have our disagreements and stuff and we have a different person as long as i think about like like I, I don't really get raw with her i'm not super like maybe i'm like because she's like more like a partner in a sense right, right. She, she doesn't like like she don't get my sense of humor but if you think about like our religious worldview is very like on point right and i think yeah. that's where it's like like for example, we went to Hajj together with to Umrah. Those uh -huh. kind of experience. When I when I think about sometimes I'd be like pissed at my wife about something, or like we had a fight, and I'm like, man, what the hell am I doing in this relationship? And then I think about <laughs> going to Hajj, and then she paid for Hajj too. <laughs> like I didn't even pay for it; she paid for it. Uh huh. Because she's she's the doc. She's the doc. She makes the money, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Umrah, and and then she, she and and she like. And my mom got to go to Umrah with us, and I was like, oh, my nice, wife was supportive of that. She wasn't like like me. I'd be like, um. If I go to Omar, like, yeah, if like her family wants to go, I'm like, um, yeah, I'm gonna pass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so I so I think that's where I'm looking at like I I, I could see it either way. Like right. like I would definitely be down to have like a second wife who's like not Muslim to <laughs> fill that gap. But did you just cut yourself off? Yeah, yeah. I was just I got up to just turn off the heat and stuff. Gotcha, like gotcha. Okay. Yeah, really um cool. just all jokes aside, but uh no, I, I mean to me it's just like what, what I've realized is that everyone, I can't like understand what you're really going through. Right. Yeah. yeah, they, yeah. It's, it's your call. Right. Um, yeah. There are obviously precautions you got to take as far as like, cause the thing of it is like you, you guys, I think you have an agreement that you, your daughter will be raised Muslim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that, that was like one of the, the conditions, I guess. I don't want to say conditions, but that was like one of the agreements. That was, um, that was one thing I wasn't going to compromise on. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, I was like, she's going to be, she's going to be born. Uh, she's going to be raised Muslim. I was like, you can name her whatever she wants to you know, name her. Whatever. Right. Uh, I, I, I think that's something that like, um, is a little deeper than just like, making an agreement. Cause uh, for example, right. when I've seen fam, I've seen families that like, let, let's be real, uh, growing up Muslim, especially the way our community makes it sometimes is actually, um, kind of hard. Right. It is. So a kid might in their, a kid might like, decided to be something else mm -hmm. because like especially if one of their parents is something else or they come like when i've seen kids come from like mixed backgrounds mm -hmm. uh, and they have and they had this kind of agreement and they grow up i generally see them not practicing islam right you know what i'm saying because right. it's just like easier and also it's that you but you yourself but also i haven't seen many parents were as like religiously inclined like you, even though you might yourself might perceive yourself as not that religious, but mm -hmm. you are definitely more religious than like the other Muslim like parents that I've seen when they married a non-Muslim. You follow what I'm right. saying? Right. Yeah. Like you know more about it than anything else. You at least were, you know. So, so I think that's could be different for your case. So I think yeah. I think everything's case by case, man. Dude, I, I agree, man. It's like it's you know one thing is this kind of like I, I feel like the reality of it is like you know one day I might have to kind of face it like where. Um, you, you know, my daughter, like, it, it, you know, what if she doesn't want to be Muslim, you know what yeah, I mean? And right. it's like, it's kind of like, what do I do about that? You know what I mean? And so 
I, I don't know. I can't answer that question. You know what I mean? Like, um, I, I feel like it's kind of easy to say like, oh, like, you know, I'd be cool with it, whatever, or no, I, it's not going to fly with me. Right. But I think my job as a parent though, I think is, is to raise them the best way I can, you know what I mean? Yeah. And kind of, kind of inshallah, like, you know, hope for the best, you know what I mean? And then the rest is up to them. Like I dude, even growing up, like, like, you know, you know, both my, my parents are obviously Muslim. Like he, you, you know, my dad's like, he, he teaches hips or whatever, you know, he's yeah. very well read in like the deed and everything. And then even I say, even for me, like, I think it was, it was, it was a challenge growing up as a Muslim, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. The the thing was though, it's like before we moved here, it's like I grew up um like in when we used to live in like in Toronto, my brother and I, we were the only two Muslims in the entire school. And then we moved to Kansas City and then same situation. We were always either two or three Muslims like in the entire school. And then I come here and I'm like, holy crap, I'm like, all these Muslims. I'm like, where'd you guys come from? You know what I mean? Um so 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 I don't know. I, I think that that's obviously like a challenge. Um and that's something that uh, you know, I guess uh, uh, you know, it, it might come up like, but inshallah, it doesn't. Um, inshallah, she she becomes a good Muslim or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, but but I really don't know. I really don't know. I I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. But I but I feel like this is the challenge that um, almost everyone will face nowadays. Like especially all of us. Um, you know, obviously in my situation, it's gonna be a little different. I guess it's gonna be a little harder in my situation versus yeah. you. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I I think it's tough. I I really don't know. Like, what would you do? Like, if your daughter came to you and be like, hey, you know. Baba or Abu or I don't, know, I don't know what she calls you, but she's just said like, hey, um, you know, like um, I, I wouldn't be a, a, you know atheist or something. Like I don't want to, I don't believe in religion. Like, what if you came to you and said like, oh, you know, I believe in, I'm, I'm spiritual. You know what I mean? It's like such a cop out to me. It's like when people say that, it's like, uh, but she doesn't want to uh, be Muslim. You know what I mean? Like, what what would your reaction be? Uh, if I let her cut her head off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a, that joke. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I, I I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I I have to make sure that I keep the uh, Sharia uh, the, the 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 Sharia like uh, stereotypes going right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> either a, option A, throw off the cliff; it be decapitation, <laughs> death by stoning. Uh, no, I I don't know, man. That's you know, a, my, my joke is always like, I'm like, man, if she if she starts to stray, like, I was like, we we going back to Somalia. And then, and then, you know, I think about it, like that's like the joke. When I was like, what the hell would I do in Somalia? Like, what would I do? You know what I mean? Um, but you know, I, I you know, I think I think um I think especially like all of us, like I think honestly, the only choice we do have is like you know, do the best you can. Um, and yeah. shall, like hope for the best because you know, the, dude, the reality of it is like um you know, especially here, um, I, I feel like you know kids like once they hit like you know kind of 18 they're more or less like you know independent you know what i mean like they they kind of don't need you um they don't need you as a parent anymore you know what i mean there there are no guarantees for sure i mean there are, there I, are. I, i'm actually more worried about my daughter growing up in more of a muslim bubble uh-huh yeah i, I like, think that's another issue so too. for example um like I'm not, cause she definitely seeks like so. So alhamdulillah, she fasted her first day yesterday. She's six. Oh wow! Oh, my that's awesome. Like, I, we weren't expecting it to be honest, right? Yeah. How old is like, she? She's six. Oh sweet, dude, that's that's, <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. So she like was it Thursday night? Um, she ends up. Well, first of all, she's staying up all night, and I'm like annoyed because like they've been off school. They well, they've been home. They've been like homeschooled, sending the stuff. Mm-hmm. So like two in the morning, she wakes me up. She's like Abu, it's time for suhoor. <laughs> and I'm like, my alarm set for three forty. Like, I don't need your like, you like, leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> and she's and she's all excited about having suhoor, so she has suhoor. All kids are awake, all three of them. Uh-huh. I go downstairs, I make my smoothie, and then I like, she wakes up at like noon. And I, I, ch- I check, I get her. Um, so now, um, I check my kids' homework assignment, and I see the teacher says like, oh, you gotta um, like, why don't you fast for one or two hours? So then she wakes up at like noon, and I'm like, hey, why don't you fast to like three o'clock? What do you think? Mm-hmm. I think I told her it's like one o'clock. I was like, "Once you pass till three. Okay. She actually got her bearings and she came to her desk to start doing her schoolwork. And then she was like, okay, only two more hours. And then at two o'clock, I'm like, how do you feel? Um, she was like, um, I'm a little hungry. It's like, you think you make it till three? And she's like, yeah, that's one hour. And she's like, 60 minutes. She's like, is that 60 minutes? I'm like, yeah. I'm like 3,600 seconds. That's what she does. She's like 3,600 seconds, 60 minutes. I'm like, yeah, it's no big deal. It's another hour, right? Uh-huh. And then um, I was like, she makes a three. It's not bad. That's a, that's a pretty good day for her. Cause she's never really tried to fast. Here's the thing. She's never really, I don't remember last year, her really going for an attempt at all. Right. right. And this is first day. So then uh, my wife comes up and told her that told, told me that she told her that like, 
if she managed to do any any out of the entire month, she does one full fast, she'll get a bike. Oh, okay. Oh, there's right? motivation there. Huh? Now, now there's motivation all of a sudden. And then I, I kind of like, she was doing her schoolwork. She was done. About six o'clock, I went to go take a nap. And I'm like, hey, did you, uh, have you eaten? Have you had any water or anything? It's like six o'clock. She's like, nah, she hasn't. And I'm like, oh, snaps. You only got like an hour and a half to go to get this bike. Right. <laughs> like, how do you feel? And she's like, oh, she's, she, at this point, she's cruising. All right. And she just like, it, it finished it off. It was like, it didn't seem like she wasn't really tired. She wasn't complaining. Mm -hmm. So she's trying to fast today. I think this morning she's like, she wants to fast today. My wife's like, no, because she didn't eat a lot for dinner. And so oh. my, wife, my wife's like, she's like, all right, she got to she, she might make her eat today. Right. But it's like, all right, because she's just like, because at home at dinner time, she's like, the food we had, that's the thing. I was like, maybe if, if we knew she was going to try to fast, maybe we, we would have like went out and got like the food she likes. Yeah, yeah. So she asked me, like, she got to pick what we want for iftar. She had, like, she said, I want dates and limeade. <laughs> <laughs> so we make, make that. But then later she was, like, once she realized dinner she had, it wasn't that great. She was, mm -hmm. like, I, I, I want skewers, like kebabs. Oh, gotcha. So I was, like, maybe the next day she'll fast. We'll get bawadi or something. Like, order, like, right. like kebabs or something from a spot. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Like, hey, do you get that in, in Ramadan? I'm, like, I get really annoyed when I have to eat, like, lay miftar. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I think that's the only thing that kind of uh, fasting is not. I, I mean, I don't know about you, but for me, it's not too difficult. It's just the fact that like it's so late, and then, and then you know, I mean, I don't know. Like I sleep almost. Uh, I sleep at like ten thirty, whatever. You know, what I mean? like I, I ain't staying up to pray, but I wait on stuff. But um, but um, but yeah, it's the only thing that's. I, I feel like it's more inconvenient than anything. And then you know, you gotta wake up like uh, sometime, whatever. Like, eat so yeah. far and stuff. But um. Um, but how, how do you, how did you feel yesterday though? Was it, were you, were you okay? Were you... It was good. So, so, um, I actually got, so, I told, so as you know, I got furloughed on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like conveniently right before Ramadan. That's awesome. So I actually like have the entire month. So, I mean, I could, I'm like, am I take advantage of it? I hope because I hate, like, there are very few things that I hate more than going to work during Ramadan uh -huh. <laughs> because I'm just so tired. Like, to be honest, I'm tired though. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I use like, I like getting up, having my coffee, sipping a coffee, you're right. Like mm -hmm. right now I'm good though. But like in the morning, even though I took a like slow release caffeine pill mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I got up early to like do, I got up at like 930 today, which on a Ramadan weekend is supposed to be kind of late, early to do a recording. Cause I, want, I was supposed to do this, test this out with my cousin in Bangladesh Oh, uh, nice! because I wanted to like talk to him about like the nature of podcasting in Bangladesh. Cause, cause I'm trying to like, Bangladeshis aren't using podcast apps and it's like okay. annoying the hell out. It, so I did two podcasts of Bangladesh. The last two episodes I, re, I, re, I recorded and I released on the channel and they're all, they're like, Oh bro, can you give us like a link, a website link? I'm like, use the freaking app. <laughs> I'm they like, have iPhones, I'm assuming, right? they do. They all got iPhones. Right. Okay. And so I'm going to like, I wanted to do a, sh I want to do a show with my cut. He's my cousin's husband. He just recently okay. married and he lived in the UK for, he went okay. there for college. So he's some kind. So we were. I was supposed to get up. As I got up early, I messaged him, and he messaged me like an hour later. He's like, "Oh man, sorry, I fell asleep." Oh, and gotcha. It's, and it's like I'll just schedule, reschedule later in the week or something. But like, gotcha, gotcha. But I was like groggy, even though like the caffeine. Right now, I feel good, right? But I think because I'm in the flow, I'm like, all right, we, we got up, we did this test. I was trying to take a nap, but the caffeine pills were still in my system, so I really couldn't sleep. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. You know what I mean, so like, yeah, I mean, so far so good. I mean. I'm I'm about to jump on this like at like three o'clock. I'm on this like Quran class. Oh, nice, nice. Omar okay. Omar Muzaffar's got this thing going. Like, Omar like one thing I heard that name before. Yeah, you know, he, we had a yeah. He he was the guy that um, he's a chaplain. He, he's always involved in like the cases where the the scholars like get busted for like. Oh, you know, dude, I know what you're talking about, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's so annoying <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I, I don't have well, a picture. He, he actually, I heard that name before. He, he has a lot. Of, he he has. He's pretty. He has a pretty um interesting like outlook on like um Cor like Quran. He, he like he's really well read in Quranic exegesis. Gotcha. Right. Um. So I'm gonna check out his class. He's gonna doing a weekly class at three o'clock. So I'm gonna jump off here in a little bit and then go into that. Okay. Uh, but then yeah, it's kind of like um I'm trying to do in Ramadan. I'm trying to do like more Quran focused stuff. So right now I've got this book here that I'm reading called um. The banquet. I don't know if you can see that or not. I see it. Yeah. What is yeah. it? It's it, it, it's it, it's a, it's um it's it's a linguistic commentary 
by a French Orientalist scholar named Michelle Kuypers. Okay. But it's, it's a very like, from what I, I've heard, only Muslims recommend it because he actually talks about how, it's basically like a non-Muslim doing his like entire life's work on like how miraculous the Quran is from a linguistic perspective. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so I was like, let me check it out. Um, Cause I, I'm trying to do like more Quranic study stuff. This gotcha, gotcha. I, 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 you, you know me. I, I'm in like that voodoo and group dicker and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The what game. is it called? You, what you, what you, what is it called? Voodoo. Um, the yeah, the voodoo. What is it called? Um, like going to Molid? Movid. Yeah, that's what it Molid. is, dude. Like, yeah, so, dude. I okay. remember. You, I think you sent a video one time of you uh, in that stuff, whatever. With the, yeah, it's with the I Talib, love that stuff, right? man. I love that stuff. I was like, dude, I was like, what the hell are you doing, dude? <laughs> it's just like you said that. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll tell you, like, my theory is like my kids, my daughter loves loves that stuff. Yeah, that, I mean, I believe it. But but but, I, but I'm you. But I think that's really critical to like mm-hmm. give kids identity because if you think about like us as Islam growing up, Islam wasn't fun. No, dude, it's, man, I don't want to say it's stuck, but man, it was. <laughs> like, dude, it, it was, so, it was like, everything's haram, right? Every, yeah. Every, you're going to go to hell. Everything's haram. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I think, so my daughter. You can't eat, you can't eat bacon. But I got rough. beef bacon. My, my, my kid Ooh. is like, the beef bacon spot. I, I asked my wife. Dude, beef bacon is good. It's yeah. good. That, so, so like, my, so, you know, like, um, I don't want to go back to like the whole wife thing, whatever. Like, you know, my, my wife's obviously, you know, Christian, whatever, but, um, but she doesn't eat bacon and stuff either. No. And so she's just like, she's like, she's like the one thing she's like, she always craves is bacon. And so like, I got beef bacon. She said it's not as good, but they're like, she's like, it's, it's pretty, pretty damn close. Yeah, so turkey like, bacon sucks. Turkey bacon is dry. Dude, that thing is rubber, yeah. man. And I was like, why, why'd you waste this animal? <laughs> right. Right. So, yeah. I mean, so, so, but, I, so, I, so I, I, I didn't know you take your daughter to the, to the Moses with, like with you though. Yeah. Yeah. I, I took her. I, I I take because she likes she likes to go. She likes the song. Like she'll even request them to sing certain nasheeds. Oh, gotcha. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, because when I went to Fed, like I went to Morocco, right? Mm-hmm. That's like that entire scene. It, like now, I didn't take her because we were there like late night. But mm-hmm. like my, my the guy who's my my guy who was taking me around, we mm-hmm. were hitting up like multiple like they don't call them. It's called zawiyas, like these Sufi lodges. Where they okay. sing like Nashi If you look at my Instagram, I posted a bunch of stuff. I but got rid of Instagram. But basically, like in, but, uh, in Morocco, that's like the whole scene in Morocco, right? Oh wow, okay. It's very like um in a, it's, it's it's a very Sufi thing, right? It's a, it's yeah, yeah. It's, right, okay. right, right, right. So like I, I come from a non-Sufi background. So like it oh, took a lot for me to like break through those like vibes. <clears throat> Dude, you know, I, I I don't know, but like what do you think of this? I feel like whenever um, I, I feel like especially for converts, right? They always, they always kind of like, um, like they always go towards like, like, su- like the, the, the whole Sufi thing, right? And then the whole spirituality and all that good stuff. I feel like, uh, 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 I feel like it's very like, I, I don't know. I, I think it's great, dude. Like, um, I don't, I don't necessarily, you know, believe in that stuff. I've never done like a Movid or any of that, but, um, but I feel like it's, it's very like, it's easily digestible. Like it's kind of like you have this group setting and stuff and then, everyone kind of thinks the same way as you. And then, you know, you're vibing off each other or whatever. Like, you know, for your thing, it's like when you go, are there generally like a lot of like new converts that are there? Well, well, Talif is like a space. Oh, it's a Talif thing. Okay. Like, okay. Talif has a lot of people there. Like, so. Um, uh, no, I'm on the screen. No. I, 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 I think that there are, um, it depends oh. on what kind of converts you're talking about, right? Right. Like Salafis get a lot of converts too, right? Because okay. some people like black and white. They like the black and white Islam where it's like straight up, like no nuance. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's it's where they came from, right? Uh-huh. Um, also, like African-Americans, like in, in the inner cities, a lot of times gravitate towards more Salafia. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, one second. My baby's uh, she's crying. Give me, give me one second. All right. Well, hope y'all enjoying that live. I'm probably gonna cut them off in a little bit once I get back, but this sh- show is called Resell Market Sucks. That's not what the. Uh... Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You good? Yeah, she's here. Oh, with me. She's just hi. With me. Hello. How old is she now? She's. 10 months. She's going to be 11 soon as well. Uh, two weeks, she'll be 11. 
Man, now nah, nah, she's gonna be social media famous now, bro. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, yeah. So I, 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 back to what you're saying. I, I think it depends. I, I, I don't. I think that every um, Sufis tend to be nicer people. Yeah, they are. I think they are. <laughs> they are. I, I you know what I'm saying? Charismatic and everything too. You know, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. But like, if you go in the hood, like some like African American, like inner city converts, a lot of them, even Latino converts, a mm -hmm. lot of them gravitates towards Salafia. Um, and that's where I came from the Salafi Dawah. That's, that's, that's how I learned my Islam. So a lot of it, there's different angles that like make sense to them. So mm -hmm. I, I think it depends on your disposition. Like a super liberal white intellectual person is going to gravitate towards Sufism. You follow what I'm saying? So anyways, let's go ahead and wrap this sucker up. By the way, I, you're muted. Yeah, she was kicking the. She was just, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Go ahead. Um. End it. Uh, yeah, man. Appreciate your show, man. How do you want to do it? It was good. It was fun. It, it was a test run, but actually, I think this was good stuff here. Yeah. Is, how long did we? How long were, were we on? Um. Let me see here. Let me see if it says. It's not with the. Uh... Almost an hour. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. Just, you know. You know the thing is though. It's like we haven't talked in a minute. Like we. Uh, yeah, we haven't talked to me. I know we talk in the group and stuff, but um, yeah, to catch up. this how you really so so this is the kind of stuff I want to do more frequently, like just because this is doesn't require it's like hey, whoever's free, let's just jump yeah. on a let's just jump on a Zoom Facebook Live kind of thing. Right. Um, dude, now that you're unemployed, man, it's like you got all this time. Like, dude, when I was when I when I had a job, <laughs> I was playing video games, I was like, I got this two player game that me and my wife could jump on it like, whenever yeah. she'd go to sleep. Like, we just go out there and play and like waste away, dude. So nice, it was kind of silly, but um. But yeah, man, this is awesome, man. Um, yeah, this is this is awesome, man. Take advantage of it. Cool. All right, bro. All right, we will. Right. I will end this sucker now. I'm gonna go ahead and like me. Uh, yeah, do your, go ahead and like boom and live video. What are you doing, Gabby?